Super Dope Anime Collabs Part 1. Coach and Michael B. Jordan, yes, that Michael B. Jordan, did an entire Naruto-inspired collaboration. From bags, tees, jackets, hoodies, and even shoes. As you can imagine, it was super expensive and a lot of it didn't actually sell out. Like this hoodie, which is now 60% off, so go get one. Don't worry, I got you. Be on the lookout for collabs with the brand Uniqlo. In fact, they dropped a Demon Slayer collaboration today. Their shirt designs are usually super cool, but they do sell out really fast. If you do get one, I would recommend getting a size up because they do run a little bit small. And here's the best part, all the t-shirts are $14.90, so go get one because they're going to sell out fast. Super dope anime collabs, this one is actually epic. ST DuPont is a French company that's been making luxury goods for almost 150 years. That's how you know it's going to be wicked expensive. Back in 2012, they did a collaboration with Ichiro Oda, aka the creator of One Piece. And together they brought to life Sanji's lighter that we first saw back in Punk Hazard. Named the Sleeping Mermaid, this thing was an absolute work of art. There were only 1,111 made at a retail price of about $2,000. 55 of those were known as the Prestige Edition, which came with their own fountain pen, and this would run you about $20,000. Nowadays, you can buy a replica for under 100 bucks, but if you're out there looking for the OG, good luck. It's probably hiding with the One Piece. Super dope, yet affordable, anime collabs, part 4. Bait is a really awesome new store that's only been around since about 2011. Yet they've had a ton of awesome collaborations like One Punch Man, Naruto, Bleach, and their newest one, Cowboy Bebop. Here are just some examples of some of the awesome pieces that you can go over and grab right now. From my experience, they do fit pretty true to size, so I would just stick with your size. But these collections tend to sell out, so make sure you go quick. Super Dope Anime Collabs, Part 5, let's go. Vans. Everybody knows Vans. They did a collaboration with long-standing manga anime series JoJo's Bizarre Adventure last year. The collab centered around character designs for Giorno and Bruno. The Giorno's shoe features a fuchsia velvet with an accented embroidery in reference to his iconic hair and ladybug eyelet plugs. The slip-on pair is marked with the contrast-based spoon print on Bruno's signature look. With gold trim and big bold vamp zippers in reference to his stand sticky fingers. If the zippers are unzipped, they reveal unique quotes. Retail was only about $88, but as you can imagine, they sold out. Super Dope Anime Collabs Part 6. This one's super fun. Japanese sportswear and equipment company Mizuno teamed up with Bandai to bring us a fully loaded, game legal Dragon Ball Z baseball equipment collab with four character specific mitts for Son Goku, Piccolo, Frieza, and Shenron. A catcher's chest protector and shin guard to make it look like Vegeta's Saiyan armor. And my personal favorite, the seven Dragon Balls as baseballs. And after you've collected all seven, you can see in their protective cases a picture of Shenron. And as you can imagine, pre-orders are already sold out, but they'll be hitting eBay later this month. Super Dope Anime Collabs, Part 7, let's go! 27-year-old sneaker company Skechers and long-running anime manga series One Piece have not done one, but two Grand Line appropriate collabs. This second sneaker collaboration drop featured seven character designs including Monkey D. Luffy, Trafalgar Law, Jinbei, Whitebeard, Blackbeard, Marco, and even Boa Hancock. One Piece logo accents can be found on the tongue, and the character artwork can be found on the insole, making this a very covetable collab. Let me know which pair you would get. For me, I had to go for Law. Super Dope Anime Collabs Part 8. You know it. Back in 2018, we got the first full look of Adidas Sky High anticipated collab with Dragon Ball Z. This collection featured seven unique character models, and they were the Goat Goku and Frieza, Shenron, Sun Goku and Cell, and Majin Buu and Vegeta. My favorite part about this collab is that if you were able to collect all seven, you were presented with one of the coolest shoebox arts I've ever seen. And yep, you probably guessed it, it's sold out everywhere, but if you're willing to drop the cash, you can find them. Super Dope Anime Collabs, number nine. This is the most requested one. Let's get it done. 2011, Hirohiko Araki, aka the producer of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, got involved with a campaign between Spur Magazine and extremely well-known designer brand, Gucci. What resulted from this collab was a one-shot, 16-page comment called Rohan Kishibe Goes to Gucci. The exhibit showcased Gucci goods for purchase that were featured in the one-shot comic, as well as a life-size statue of Rohan himself. 
but this was actually the first of two collabs with Gucci. Two years later, in 2013, Hirihoko collabed once again and brought us another one-shot comic called Jolene Fly High with Gucci, specifically in Italy this time. For this collab, massive window displays were showcased at more than 70 Gucci boutiques worldwide. I don't think we need to talk prices on this one, but I do recommend reading the one-shot comics. Super Dope Anime Collabs Part 10, let's get it! Italian brand Kappa, known for their iconic Omini logo, representing equality between men and women leaning against each other to show their mutual support, have done not one, but two awesome collabs with long-running anime manga series One Piece. The first collab featuring main character Monkey D. Luffy leaning against other iconic characters mimicking the Omini logo, such as Shanks, Ace, Zoro, Nami, and Sanji. The second collab, which actually drops tomorrow, features Monkey D. Luffy wearing the classic Kappa tracksuit, Boa hammock, and Law showcasing Kappa branded clothing. In addition, some separate pieces feature the memorable pre credit to be continued graphic. These are Japan exclusive drops, but you guessed it, you can find them if you're willing to spend the berries.